Okay, it's time for more of Clem's computer catastrophes. Yeah, my old modem just decided, well, a few days ago, decided to die on me. That's why I haven't been on YouTube for a while, so I just got a, a new modem from my service provider. And, found out, cannot use it with my computer. It's got an Ethernet cable, my old one was USB, and this one is Ethernet, and uh, neither of my computers seem to be compatible with the Ethernet. They've got the connections, but not the hot, not not the drivers, so I'm a bit stuck here at the moment. It, it is, the modem is working, he tested it before I left, but um, my computers are just not, don't have the drivers. Couldn't get it working on this one. I tried pulling pull my other computer out and um doesn't even work on that one. So I've got this. Got it one of my old computers from storage. Found all the parts for it, apart from a couple of bits. There's a circuit board that should slot in there, which has got the PCI slots on it, so I won't be able to I'm not sure it's gonna work without that circuit connected. Where well, I managed to find all the parts that I'm going to need? It's a hard drive and memory and everything, so I'm just going to put this together because this does have an Ethernet connection on it somewhere. There it is. Blurry. Oh dear, run into another problem. This is the connector that I use to connect the computer to the TV. It's DVI connector. DVI to HDMI cable. This is the plug that the... Um, computer users to plug into the monitor not the same it's all 15 pin D sub so I now have to get my monitor out so I can plug that in and see well you know well okay everything is all plugged in I've um, put the memory back in and the hard drive I haven't put in the CD drive or the floppy drive because I won't be needing them for this particular test Hope it will run without the um, the other circuit board in there. Probably will. Probably won't. I really don't know. I've got my monitor out. It's all plugged in. Let's turn it on and see if it works. Uh huh. Well, I saw a. Oh, this is locked. This seems to have lost all its BIOS memory, apparently. Mind you, it's been sitting in the shed for goodness only knows how long. Probably had water dripped on it as well. Let's see if I can set this up and, uh... Oh, well, it's booting. It's, it's definitely booting. So, it is working to some extent. Yeah, it's about five years later on now, and uh, finally Windows is um, up, as you can see. The hard drive still seems to be clicking away. It seems to have stopped now. Anyway, um, connect the USB. I don't mean USB, I mean the Ethernet, and see if this thing works. Ah, well, there we are. There's something. 100 megabit per second. Now, I know my connection isn't that fast. I know I do have a fast connection, but I know it's not that. Let's see. The Ethernet light has come on on the modem, so that's a good sign. Let's see if we can actually access anything. I'm not don't like the look of this little bit here. Oh, that's something unrelated. Right, let's see if this thing can get online. This is the first time I've actually run this computer in about three years. I'm surprised it still works. Seems to be taking its time. Give you a little while it's loading up. I'll just give you a little look around it all. 
It's only a 650, Cel 650 megahertz Celeron processor. Got 256 megs of RAM in there. Ethernet is connected. I can see a little light on in there actually. Doesn't seem to be loading now. Then this computer is incredibly slow. Well, I don't know what's going on here. Apparently it looks alright. It seems to be able to send and receive, but... I'm just not able to con um, access any websites here. I'm going to try Internet Explorer instead, just to see if that will um, do anything. Again, we're going to have to wait for about five years for this thing to actually respond, but... Yeah. Well, Bad Edit Pro, if you're watching, I can see what you mean with uh, you hate toolbars. I hate them too. Just look at all this. It's absolutely ridiculous. That's all the space there is to show the um, actual web content. All these stupid web bars. And even on Internet Explorer, I still cannot access anything on this stupid modem.